Welcome to the Raw Membranes Production Workshop. Today, I will show you its production process. Firstly, the get cloth machine has the get cloth to the appropriate size for standby use. The role of the guide cloth is mainly to guide the water flow to be evenly distributed within the element and to provide a certain level of support. Next, prepare the membrane sheets. The membrane cutting machine will cut the membrane sheets to the correct size and insert a spacer mesh between the sheets. The spacer mesh prevents the membrane sheets from sticking together, ensuring that water can flow through. Workers will transport the prepared membrane sheets to the rolling machine. Next. Workers will roll the get cloth onto the central tube, and the fully automatic glue machine will glue at the edges for fixation. These glues are all food grade, non toxic, and harmless. Workers will stack the membrane sheets layer by layer, with get cloth separating each set of membrane sheets. Afterwards, the automatic glue machine will glue and fix the sheets. The number of layers that need to be stacked depends on water production capacity of the row membrane. When the stacking reaches the required number of layers, the rolling machine will start rolling, and the workers will continuously pat to expel air and prevent membrane sheets wrinkles. Waterproof tap is one for sealing and fixation. The edge trimming machine will trim off excess material to facilitate the installation of the end caps. The next step is the pressure test, which lasts for 15 minutes to check the pressure resistance and the sealing performance of the row membrane. Now, attach the labels, and then seal and reinforce the element with glass fiber combined with epoxy resin. Due to the excellent mechanical properties of the glass fiber, the pressure resistance and corrosion resistance of the row membrane are further enhanced. After the epoxy resin has cured, it's ready for packaging and shipment. 